while some of these brook trout we've been catching are, are modest in size, what you have to keep in mind is that brook trout actually aren't even trout at all. They're members of the char family. They're related to lake trout. And just like lake trout, they are a slow growing fish. So when you start seeing fish that are in that 12, 14 inch range, these are fish that have lived a long time. It takes a long time to grow these fish to any substantial size. And I think that's the primary reason why brook trout are typically managed with catch and release management. Um, keeping a minimal harvest on them is important because it takes too long to replace the fish. So if they allow people to come in and harvest large numbers of them, you just can't replace them um, in any kind of a given time frame. And so catch and release is the way to go when it comes to brook trout. And, um, and if you're going to keep any, maybe just the occasional fish that's hooked so deeply that it's bleeding or something. But uh, if you can let them go, by all means do so. So a little bit of history on the coaster brook trout in Lake Superior is that uh, coaster brook trout were actually wiped out to the point of near extinction uh, back in the late 1800s when people really started moving into this area at the peak of the timber and mining uh, booms up in the Keweenaw Peninsula and the south shore of Lake Superior. And because these coasters are so aggressive, uh, they're relatively easy to catch and they were very vulnerable to fishing pressure. So a lot of those fish got caught out of the lake and because they're so slow growing, it took a long time for them to recover. Um, however, recently there's a bit of a success story with coaster brook trout in that uh, due to some very conservative regulations, there's a, a one fish per day limit on Lake Superior and that brook trout has to be over 20 inches in order to keep. And folks that are out here fishing for brook trout on any regular basis are typically into catch and release fishing, uh, maybe with the exception of fish that are fatally hooked or fish that uh, would be a, a wall hanger, I guess. Um, so with some of these uh, recent changes in the regulations and management and also with some of the modern practices for forestry and mining, these fish have really had a chance to rebound and especially in places like Isle Royal where the natural environment has been very well preserved over time, these coasters are really able to flourish and hopefully that continues to happen across Lake Superior and in the future maybe we'll see a really good healthy population of coasters once again. That is a nice fish. Oh. Whoa! Let me get out of the way here. That is a beautiful trout. Look at the beautiful sun on that brook trout. Just barely. Oh, you got him. Way to go, Travis. Way to go. That is cool. That's our biggest coaster so far today. And that fish just came out of about two feet of water in the sandy corner. And I saw a log up in there, threw to it. And that fish hit really funny and just swam straight towards us. All of a sudden, he was under the boat. Um, so that was kind of neat. <laughs> so this is about an 18 inch fish. and. Uh, for out here in Lake Superior and Isle Royal, this is really getting to be a, a high quality brook trout. Um, you know, they very rarely get up over 20 inches, so if, if we get a fish much bigger than this, we're going to consider that a real trophy.